check out the new G body. 84 Cutlass Calais. My color too. Sunroof bucket console car. Another five hundred dollar beater. Think I might have a problem. But I guess it's better than a drug addiction. Got the fourteen inch chrome rallies with some a little bit wider rubber. 245s on the back, 235s on the front. Uh, front fender looks pretty good. There's probably a little bit of rust behind here, like normal, but it actually looks really solid. Not too bad at the back, a little bit of rust, but that's actually really good. The doors, they are rusted out on the bottom, like most G bodies. A little speck of rust there. A little bit of rust on the door handle. Rear fenders, they're starting to rust out. It's just through, maybe in there. Still got some strength. Got a rock guard on it or something. It's rusted through, but I mean, I've seen a lot worse. The back seam rusted pretty good. Back here, this is the driver's side. It's got an undercoating on it or something, but it's rusted in a little bit, not too bad. A little bit of cancer bubbles coming out here. It doesn't look too bad here. I think this car's been painted uh, before, because I don't think they came with this rock guard sort of deal on here. But, yeah, it's got dual exhaust. It's also got what looks to me as the thicker rear sway bar on there, so that's probably another thing you can look for if you're trying to upgrade your G-Body with stock replacement stuff. I think most of the Regals I have have a real skinny rear sway bar. That one looks thicker. I think this car, I took it for a little drive. I think it has a shift kit in it, which is pretty good. And I think it actually has a posi because I couldn't get the tires to spin, but once I got it on the trailer on this metal, I got them spinning and both of them were spinning. So that makes me believe that this thing has a posi traction. Busted out rear tail light. A little bit of rust coming through here, it looks like. Doesn't look like it's fully through, but it started bubbling underneath. Fixable stuff. I mean, the bumper's good, really good, which is a huge bonus on the G bodies. The rear frame rails, freaking mint. It's got a coating on it too, but like. Look at that, it's still freaking raw steel under there. A little bit of surface rust there, but that is 100% uh, in uh, G-Body language anyways. Doesn't look too bad. Here's the passenger side. It actually looks like it's in better shape. Right here is really solid. The seam up in the wheel well, up inside there. There you go. Is uh, looks really good. A little bit of uh, oh yeah, looks good. But now that I poke at it, it's not too good. Uh, yeah, there's the trunk probably. Oh yeah, guess this side's the same as the other. Same thing down here. I mean, the steel is still there, but the rock guard is peeling off. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's rusty, certain. Of course, vinyl top. Cracked as shit. 
I don't know if I've ever seen anybody fully replace one of these, but I'd like to see what it looks like. Because it's not like the old vinyl tops where it looks like it's just stretched and glued onto the body like those old Chevelles and, you know, the old, I don't know, all those old cars. This stuff has like fucking padding underneath of it. I don't even know if a guy can get that stuff anymore. I don't mind the uh, vinyl top look if it's cleaned up nice. No dents, real straight car. You see the chrome has been screwed on here, so that's kind of ghetto, but the bottom of the doors are rusted out. Well, there's a little dent in the bottom rocker panel there. Caught something. Front fender, really solid. It's really good. Front bumper, no dents. A little bit of crack paint there, you hit something. This is kind of interesting. I don't know, it says Len or something in the pinstripe. I don't know if that, maybe that was the guy who owned it before. Not the guy I bought it off of. But. 1984 Cutlass Calais. Check her out. Our windows, our locks, the windows work, the lock uh, switch doesn't work. It's a bucket console car. Awesome. And I was messing around with it a little bit, and it is a posy. She won't single out, so that's uh, pretty sweet. Not sure if that was an option in these cars. I know. The Monte Carlo SS's, you could get it. Look at that dash. It's got a tack, oil pressure, bolts, temperature. None of the Regals had that, so that's pretty sweet. I kind of like that dash. Steering wheel's a little bit surface rusted. But yeah. Most of the, all the interior pieces that aren't in here are in the trunk. So, bucket seats, console shift, posi, dual exhaust, freaking sweet man. Here's the floor, which in my opinion is freaking mint. I don't think it's been worked on before. That's probably stock. A little bit of rust there. That's like surface stuff. Nothing. That's a good floor pan. Same with the driver's side. The passenger side are usually worse because uh, where the heater box bolts up always leaked and then it went in and on down the down back there and then Oh, this is that solid. That, it doesn't get any better than that. Really good. Sweet uh, cowboy hat here, right on. Tilt steering. Check that out. Sunroof, man. First G body with a sunroof, and it works. And there's no rust up around it, which is really good. Of course the headliner sagging like all of them. The back seat is really mint. This car almost has no sun fading on the tops of the doors or anything. Like a little bit on the tops of the doors, but a little bit in the back window. That's really good though. Check that out. No rust around the sunroof. Probably a rare deal. No roof rot. Pretty stoked on this cutlass. Listen to this baby purr. Six thousand RPM on the old little 305. Electric trunk release. That doesn't work. Yeah, 
here's the trunk. Everything that I haven't really dug through it yet, but I mean, it looks like everything's here. Well, that's not very nice. Big hole in the console shifter or console. But it's all kind of here. Three speed car. Glove box. Blue Jays, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little beat up. Typical interior shit. But the main thing is, it's all here. Which ain't too bad. There's that Ross house. Showing you, poking through a little bit on the seams. Very good. It's not. Oh yeah, she's poking through up there too a bit. Guess I'll have to tub this out. Not too bad in here. Poking through a little bit over up there on the seam. Oh, it looks like it actually has maybe some aftermarket speakers in there too. It does have a CD player. So who knows? Power windows, not too bad. sway bar so when you're looking at these G bodies or in you're in the junkyard and you see one this is a good thing to look for a lot of them have a lot skinnier uh, front sway bar but this is the heavy-duty one not so sure it's matters if you're in the drag racing most of those guys take them off I think but it's a good uh, handling piece for the front end anyways not sure why only the cutlasses, or at least the Regals don't have these connecting bars from the front frame to the middle there. Only see them on, on uh, cutlasses and maybe Montes, I'm not sure. Well, that pretty much concludes the new addition to my G-Body Junkyard guess I couldn't really call myself G-Body James if I only have Regals, so figured I'd buy a Cutlass. Plus, buddy I knew had it kicking around, so took it off his hands. But uh, pretty sure I'm going to have to stop buying these cars. Uh, running out of money, running out of room. And plus, I got to get something going. So, next project is probably this Cutlass. I'm thinking I might put the old... Uh, 450 horse small block from the Regal into this thing and then the lady can drive it at the track or whatever she wants to do. 